what's happening, what it is, what's going on, oh, everybody, so boy, Mike Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today, I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blast. Day to day, man. What's happening with y'all, man? I am Zone 4, Southwest Atlanta. Shouty today, bro. I ain't been over here in so long, bro. I am at Greenbrier Mall. If you know about Greenbrier Mall, one of the hoodest malls in Atlanta, but also one of the dopest malls to get sneakers, bro. I will say that. Every time I come to Greenbrier, I remember, if y'all remember the video where I saw 72 and 10 Jordan 11s just sitting on the shelves, that was this mall. I got Kobe Christmases, the, the five rings on the back from this mall, man. And they was just sitting, bro. The shoes, they'd be sold out everywhere. Not going to say that's going to happen this time. But since I'm on this side of town, like I said, Schwartz, and let some somebody in the comments gonna say, Rich, so well, really, zone four ain't southwest Atlanta. That really ain't the swats you in. You don't know, you from Atlanta, you don't know where you at. I know I'm here, somebody say that anyway. But this is the west side, and somebody gonna say it ain't the west side of Atlanta, <laughs> Green Brown Mall. Shout out. So I just got all work. Want to go in there and see what they got. Ain't been to the mall in a long time. See if we can find some interesting things, uh, chilling in the mall, man. Also. The LeBron, what, seven fam use dropped on Sneakers app this morning? I had no idea. I literally just looked at my phone. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like, bro, them drop today. I thought they dropped a long time ago when the black ones dropped. Am I, am I thinking about the same shoe? Then they have a green one and a black one and they were supposed to come out a while back. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I feel like they shooting dropped already. Y'all let me know. Um, and then a couple of like newer LeBrons came out and some dunks dropped on Nike sneakers. Um, I don't think nothing crazy coming out tomorrow. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but um, hopefully I find something dope here. Let me find them Harachis. I find them, um, them flight her air Harachis. Them fab fives. I'm I'm copping ASAP. You feel me? You gonna see me with a bag and a thumbnail smiling? Hey, you talking about? Anyway, they going to mall see what they got, man. Do it. Hey, number one, it smells like the, it smells like the finest marijuana out here right now. That's number one. Number two, I remember going to this mall back in the day, bro. And every time I had I had a lot of old school cars, like two door old school cars, and. Every time I used to be on this side of town, my car get broken into. At least four times, my car done got broken into on the west side, bro. It was it was pitiful. Here you talking about? Oh, Greenbrier action, bro. Like my side of town, I know the mall like the back of my hand. I ain't been here in so long, bro. Oh, I, I do have to bring up the Chick Fil A. So this right here, little history lesson. This right here was the first Chick Fil A in Atlanta. And I forgot when it came out, probably close to the time them mall opened, like way back in the day when we didn't even have equal rights to even be in this mall. It was <laughs> now it's an urban community. But this was the first Chick-fil-A. It's closed down. They just closed it down like a month ago, a month or two ago. It was the first Chick-fil-A in Atlanta. God. Why they close it? I have no idea. You don't hear about Chick-fil-A's closing that much, bro. So this is how long it has been since I've been to this mall, bro. They did not have this JD Sports. The last time I was here. It might have been the finish line, I want to say. They definitely didn't have this JD Sport last time I was here. Bruh, so walking over here, I thought that these was men's thunders, bro. I was going to be like, oh my God, thunders on deck. But this is what really, this is what really got me right here. And it's a, it's, it's a GS, so don't be in the comments like, Rich, I need this side. They do not have men's pairs. I just talked to the manager. She said they should get the men's pairs probably next week. But I don't think they're going to, I don't know when the official release for these is, but... They got them. They got the GS out early, bro. The Air Jordan One Low, um, black toe man. Got the red laces in these guys. The Nike Air, the OG Cut. The GS is 120, so I think men's will be like 150. I want to say. One thing I didn't notice was this. This back. It looks like it's. it's it looks like it ain't. It look like it's matte. Bl I mean, matte red. Like it's. It's matted. The color is matted. It ain't got no shine to it. You see like the, the, the black toe in the front, how it got the shine to it, and you can see the uh, leather texture in it. Even the side panels, you can still see the leather texture. You see what I'm saying? But when you get to the back, you don't see no leather texture. They made it like flat. Like the color is flat and the leather texture is super flat in the back. I ain't noticed that. I don't know if I like that or not, honestly. Um, and then of course it don't have the fat swoosh like the OGs came with. So it's still the OG cut, but it's not all the way OG OG. So y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about the uh, Jordan 1 Low um, black toe, man. These is hard, bro. I'm definitely going to get a pair when they drop them in my size. 
Um, I'm definitely gonna get a pair of these, bro. So I don't know what's the stipulations from JD Sports releasing this early as far as the GS size is concerned, but I wonder what the biggest GS size is. This is a 5Y. 5Y. So I don't know how big they come, but this is a 5Y. So Air Jordan 1, low, black toe thing. Let me know what y'all think. I got a cop. Um, one more thing before I put them down, the, the red in the back and the bottom is the same, but these red laces don't really match it. You know what I'm saying? They're more vibrant on the laces, so I'll probably definitely go with uh, white laces on these or black laces on these guys. Uh, they got these John Morants in here. I think these came out recently too. Um, come with an extra clip, stick, Glock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave that boy Jai alone. He got, they say he got suspended for 20, what, 20 something games today, so. Uh, but they, Nike ain't letting go of that contract, but they still finna make that money out of shoes. Then they keep selling that. Yeah, these LeBron, these LeBrons ain't bad, but like I said about these LeBrons, bro, all these going to the outlets. So you wait around for the outlets to get your LeBrons, you good, man. This look like some kind of all star shoe. It's like every shoe they be doing these bright colors with. He looking like all-star shoe, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of the all-star shoe, this is the actual all-star shoe right here. I'm gonna leave that alone, like somebody tore that up, I don't wanna tear it up no more. And ah yes, even that Green Brown Mall, even the west side of Atlanta, got Jordan nothings on deck. I'm kinda mad at y'all for sleeping on E, man. I'm not mad at y'all for real, but like, bro, these are hard, man. I think, the only reason I didn't get them, cause I got, so, I got like, I just, y'all y'all watched my live the other night, bro, I counted all my Jordan 1s. I got like 40-something pairs of Jordan 1s. This shoe is hard, very wearable, I like it. I, I can't say nothing bad about it, I, it, other than the fact that I don't need it, because I got so many Jordan 1s already, bro. Remember a few years ago, when these were selling out? Yeah, make you know how to get your money. They make them limited, and then they, a few years later, they'll drop them, um, and they be everywhere. They be easy to get, you know what I'm saying? Still got Cardinals in this mall. Still got Cardinals on deck in this mall. And just because it's a uh, collab, don't mean they're gonna sell out, bro. The Stussy Air Force One mids with the little snake skin on the swoosh right there. Chilling, chilling. Of course, they got pandas. I done seen like five people come in here and grab pandas already. So they say they just, the manager said they keep sending them like hundreds and hundreds of pairs. So get your, get your pair of the uh, new Air Force One, AKA Panda guy. Anyway, you come out of JD Sports and you go right to Foot Locker. I'm glad some of these shoe stores are close together. So I ain't gotta look for them. Like I said, I don't know this model like I know mine, so gotta kinda navigate. So this is a really big Foot Locker. I remember back in the day, it used to be World Foot Locker. Uh, anybody from Atlanta, do you remember when Greenbrier used to have a World Foot Locker? Was it a different store than this Foot Locker or was it this one and World Foot Locker? Y'all let me know. I see every, every Foot Locker gonna have the music blasting. They still got Wizard 3s in this guy, chilling. Clean ass shoe. I call them True Blue 2.0. Still got the 7s in here. Still got them 13s down there. Still got these Legacy guys, AKA uh, uh, Jordan Nothing Upgrades. Hey, talking about. Bro, they still got these in here? They still got Heritage Ones in there, guy, bro. I thought they sent all the extras to the flea market. I mean, not to the flea market. That lady was talking to me. I thought they sent all the extras to the uh, outlet, bro. My wife had one of these right here. Um, in a seven and a half and I can't find a size. Finally found the size, so I ain't gotta see her reminding me that I talked out of buying these last time. Man, so I was just informed by the people who work in this Foot Locker right here that it ain't no champs, it ain't no city gear, none of that. You got Foot Locker, JD Sports, and Snipes, that's it, bro. So, let's see what's happening with it. It's, uh, Snipes right here. They already got the ATL Adidas forums in this guy. I sold last time with the fit. This is the last shoe store, unfortunately. Got the shoes for the wifey, you feel me? But uh, like I said, they ain't got no champs, nothing. Oh my God, 50% off on these? Bruh, I paid full retail for this shoe. The Weatherman, AKA Thermal Print, Presto guys. It's gonna make me want to double up. I ain't even one mine yet. I paid the whole 135 for mine. They won't have, they got them half off in here, so. They got this colorway too, but. I wasn't too crazy about that bear looking colorway. Still got the green guys in here. Lucky green. Boy, look at the quality. Look at the leather on the lucky greens. Looks very good. I like the detail. Even the black leather look good on that shoe, bro. I ain't mad at that. That's a, a pickup that I won't regret. I like that shoe, man. Just splatter some paint on it, shout That's just, just, We be trying something new. Just splatter paint on it, man. Get you a few colors. Drip them, drip them drops on there. You good. Bro, what are these here? Are these Adidas? 
I just knew there was a Yeezy shop. What do you think? Ugly hell, man. Definitely, definitely Adidas. Definitely Adidas. I just saw the Adidas logo somewhere. There you go. Definitely Adidas. Yeah, I never quite caught on to this wave, bro. Like, it, it ain't the move. Like, they just did anything with that midsole, man. Protection pack strikes again. Hell is you saying? Not really looking like I'm going to find those uh, Harachi flight highs today. I don't know. At least I got some for the wife, man. That's looking slim pickings. Like I said, ATL Adidas guys in here. Snipe, they had them at Snipes in my mall too. It's a dope shoe. This is like the hardest thing I've seen Adidas make in a long time, man. Um, I'm biased because it represents my city, but um, materials are fire too, bro. Colorway outlet, they dope. Bro, so this is how you know when the hood come out. This is a place called Air Freshener Depot, bro. Boy, I got the, got the backwoods. You feel me? Like, I got a, uh, what is that, a Bitcoin, a rocket coin machine? Something like that. All right, bro. A little bit more ho hood isms before I leave. Um, got a uh, June t shirt. June teeth shirts on deck. Global sense, bro. This is a whole store, my boy. Like, they ain't playing with you, Shotty. I'm gonna actually walk in there, guy. They is not playing with you. Bro, you are not true to Atlanta if you ain't getting that shirt right here, bro. You ain't true to Atlanta if you ain't getting the James Winston guy. Oh, got a lotto in there, guy. That DMX. That don't look like DMX. What his name is? Well, they got a roll up trays in there, guy. Right. Do rags and bonnets. Thirsty, get you a drink. Whole convenience store, play some lotto back here. Why? Chills. Right there. Why? Black Air Force One activity. All of your marijuana needs in this guy. Before I leave, I'm walking back past the Chick Fil A. I just want to see if they got rid of Chick Fil A. What did they replace? Like, what else the food court got in it? If y'all can't have a Chick Fil A in the food court, what else they got in here? So this is called the Sleepy Potato. And this look like you can get any topping on a baked potato. Like crab, shrimp, salmon. It says big ass potatoes right there. Philly cheesesteak, lamb, chicken alfredo, wings. You're not getting wings on the potato, I'm sure. Maybe they just sell wings. So we got that. We got Mr. Everything. I heard about this online. I heard about this on Instagram, man. Mr. Everything. You can get some, like, some rice or some fries or something, and they'll just put everything on top of that thing. It's something like that. And Red Velvet Cake Mama, we actually got this at Stonecrest Mall. They got like some of the best Red Velvet Cakes, but my favorite from this place is the uh, Snicker. They got like a Snicker uh, cake sandwich type thing. I don't even see them over here. But it, they kind of look like that. But, and they got the uh, Creole Orleans catering right here. So get you some good old Nolan's cuisine from there. Um, so I guess, I mean, there's more urban like um, restaurants that they got. Prime Deli, which I'm sure is probably like a wing spot. And I know that WNB Factory is definitely a wing spot. Yeah, man, so got the shoes for the wife. Um, if they would've had her size in the black toe ones, I would've got her and myself a pair. You feel me? Crank up action. Uh, anyway, it's hot, man. It is hot as Methuselah out here. Y'all ain't gonna believe what just happened, bro. In in the in the mall, you know. Every time I come, on, every time I come on the side of town, that's not my side of town. Something crazy happened, bro. So I'm in there ordering my food. I ordered it from that baked potato place. I show y'all food too, man. But, bro, why the two cats? That work at the um the two dudes that work at the place then got the fighting. They had a they had to squabble back there. Teach a man how to squabble. Yeah. If you watch Snowfall. Uh shout out to Uncle Jerome, boy. Best unk ever. But man, besides Shannon Sharp, Uncle Jerome, man. Best TV unk. Um, I don't know, Uncle Phil, bro. I don't know. But anyway, them boy got the fighting. It wasn't no long fight. It was like a quick little dude swung. And I didn't even know until, hey, he, he hunking on me to leave my spot, but I'm gonna leave when I'm ready. Go somewhere else. Anyway, <laughs> by tripping.
Yeah, I had to tell her I wasn't leaving yet, bro. Gotta watch my six, man. You feel me? She walking on at me like I'm come out this spot. I'm not leaving yet. I'm doing my outro. So anyway, man, I'm about to get the squabbling out here. Hell! Uh, <laughs> the girl looking at me crazy. Bruh, so, um, dudes, I didn't know. The girl was ordering her food, told me they bet they'll fight. I said, you lying? They ain't bet they'll fight. She said, they, I'm dead for real. She said, because I heard her say something to them. Like, y'all ain't finna mess up my food. Y'all bet they'll fight. And I thought she was just playing. I went back there, bruh. Swung on him and dude had the fry in his hand like you were finna hit him with the fry. I was like, bro, just give me my food, shot. Or give me my money back. We ain't, we ain't finna do this today. So they 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 separated. They start back making food. It was that was crazy. Bro, what you fight? But they had them boys had beef. Them boys had, you know what I'm saying? They, they was ops. They, they, they gotta finish the work day. It's what? Four o'clock? The mall don't close at seven. They gotta finish the work day together after fighting, bro. That gotta be the most awkward situation ever. Uh, one cat like you probably about my age, and the other dude like you were younger, like you about in his twenties or something like that. But um, hands, hands ensued back there for some reason. So uh, anyway, I got my food. Let me show y'all my food, man. And I did get wifey the uh, shoes, man. I got the, the, the little loads and stuff like that. Uh, I ordered some wings, my little girl. Just started liking hot wings like five or six months ago, bro. So every time I bring her food, she always want hot wings. It's just a, um, it's mild. It's just like a 15 piece mild. I'm gonna probably eat a couple on too. Some hot wings. And this right here is a chicken bacon ranch baked potato. This junk is huge. I don't even know if the camera doing no justice. Look how big this, this paint. You saw how big the hot wing thing was. Look how big this is. And it's damn near filling up the whole thing. So we got bacon, chicken, ranch, and on a big ass baked potato, a little sour cream on the side. Finna go stupid, I guess. I don't know. I ain't had. I hope they fighting, didn't mess up my, my food and I like that. But um, yeah, man, it's going down with the grubs, folk. And real quick with the shoes, like wifey was mad because I literally. I talked, when she wanted to buy these originally, I talked out of buying these, and I told her to get the, the dunks that they had, because I knew the dunks, at the time, the dunks wouldn't last long, and I knew these shoes would be around for a minute, so I was thinking they would go to the outlets and stuff like that. Plus, I think that day I was talking about how I ain't like the, the shoes that weren't the OG cut. Wifey didn't agree with that, you know what I'm saying? She got on my ass, she was like, how you ain't gonna... It's, it's still a Jordan 1 low she, she was going crazy on me So baby I got you the shoe This is my apology For talking you out of buying these I did get your pair They did have a 7.5 Which the Foot Lockers on my side of town Did not have a 7.5 So this is the Air Jordan 1 low craft uh, And it's kind of like brown and tan colorway um, So I got them for the wife For sure Anyway Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Comment below anything that you like or dislike in this video. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them head as you saying. And keep watching my video because guess what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going through the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout it, that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone all the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone.